Here's the last of the die casts in the room. At the outset of this, I mentioned I didn't have a whole lot of die casts in this room. It's mostly action figures, sports cards, and sports stuff. But this is the last of the die casts in this room. And what you're seeing here is mostly a lot of Jetta, as well as some Maisto, Greenlight Machines, and even a Hot Wheels car. So we'll just start at the top. Here is a uh, Jetta V-Dubs, 59 Volkswagen Carmen Gia Coupe from the Jetta manufacturer. Here are some Greenlight Machines, the Corvette, Mustang from the Barrett-Jackson auction series. There's Shelby and a Chevelle down here. All regular cars, by the way, no chase cars. Next to that are from Maisto Diecast, the Rescue Force series. There's a 55 Chevy Nomad police car. And below that are a couple Camaros. Uh, this one uh, decked out as a fire chief and the nice paint and, and, and tampos and decals on there. And here's one from the Highway Patrol. And then it's all Jetta here now from Jetta Muscle Series, Jetta Manufacturer. A nice 69 Chevy Camaro, as well as a red one below that. This one's even dated. It says 2006 Wave 10, so it's from 06. There's a convertible Camaro. There's a couple nice Grand Nationals, an 87 Buick Grand National and Magenta. And an all-black one there. A white Monte Carlo from the same wave. We're going to see some Hummers from 2003. You guys know how fond I am of Hummers. There's three different ones there. Making way to the bottom here is a Cadillac Escalade in white. And another one here. This one is a Hummer H2 from a company called Bad Ride. Again, an off-brand man manufacturer die cast in silver with the, with the flames. Once again, see Hummers out there, I pick them up. And down below is a Hot Wheels car. It's a Cadillac Escalade from a series called TIS, which was a one-and-done series from Hot Wheels, where they wanted to feature the TIS wheels, which you can see there on the, on the Cadillac Escalade, as well as a replica wheel inside the package there. And the TIS referred to the type of wheel on that car. But Hot Wheels only did one series of these TIS cars, and they didn't, they didn't feature any more of them. Out of the room now, and back into the more well-lit basement, brings us to the familiar corner. And this time it's to see the die cast. I'm going to show you these Johnny Lightning cars that you are seeing here in this section of the wall. And then we get up to the top, it's going to be Hot Wheels cars from this point all the way down into that corner. And there might be a small handful of other cars that aren't Hot Wheels or Johnny Lightning, but it's mostly those two. And as you can see here, I'm going to have to clear a path of my DC and Marvel Legends figures here in order to get access into this corner to show you the die cast cars up here. There's some food for thought. It occurs to me that the hoverboard that Marty McFly was rocking in Back to the Future 2 would really come in handy for this. I could just hop on the hoverboard. I wouldn't need to move anything. And I could just show you, you know, all the die cast up here. Now, with that said, I guess I'll just get to work here, guys, clear a path, and then start showing you the diecast. Now that I clear a path, we'll start by showing you these Johnny Lightnings. And they're going to be all different kinds of Johnny Lightnings from different series, with a heavy dose of Camaro as usual. We'll start here at the bottom, speaking of Camaros. Here's one in the corner, blue with a white top, kind of nice. Here's a Barris Coach, kind of like a, a car from the Munsters, very popular from the Johnny Lightning. Black with Flames Charger RT series. And from that same series, Black with Flames, an ASUN Buick Grand National. Very sharp car. This funny car looks like a white lightning with the white uh, body and white wheels, but in fact, it's not. It's a regular car, but just nice looking. Same thing with this Hummer from the Coca Cola Hol Holiday series. It looks like a, a white lightning with the, uh, the gold wheels, but in fact, it's just a regular car. And then moving up to display, Blue Max 71 Mustang Funny Car. Just another. Um, you know, very appealing car there. There's a pink car that Homer drives from the Simpsons. <laughs> Recognizable. Cadillac Hearse from Diamonds Are Forever, James Bond. A couple of Ecto-1s. This is the more traditional looking one in white. And here's one in turquoise. Only 17500 There are two cars from the Zinger series, a 55 Chevy in purple and the 70 Plymouth Amicuda. Then we come into some Hummers here. 
American Glory Hummer, Moon Eyes, 2004 New Cars in Maroon, a couple of Calic Escalades here in 2004 New Cars in Silver, they're in White, there's a Mustang, Plymouth Duster, GTX from the Auction Block Series and a Dodge Charger. Then down this row is more of the same. Universal Monsters Hummer with a little cover in there. These two cars are from a poker series. They even come with a token poker chip. The Lincoln uh, Premier. And this one, the, the panel truck, looks like a white lightning chase with a gold body and wheels, but in fact it's a regular. Here's a nice all-black Grand National from the Muscle Cars USA series. Then we got more Camaros here. 69 Chevy in white with the cover. There's a nice blue one. There's a green one with the with the key, little key inside the package, like the poker chip. Pretty cool. Another Camaro here. A red one here in '69. This Nomad the, from the Calendar uh, the Calendar Girl series didn't get this one at KB where I got the other Calendar the Calendar Girls cars. This one I actually got at the RC2 booth at one of the conventions I was at, the Wizard World convention, where I bought the White Lightning Camaros I had showed you previously in the video. Um, so it was a convention exclusive, this one. And the one above, it's maybe the only chase car in this. It's a Lincoln, or it's a Cadillac convertible. It's got white base and red interior, making it, I believe, a white lightning chase car. Continuing along the same row with the high wheel specialty cars. Here are two from the Motor City Muscle Series. There's a Dodge Dart and a really nice looking Chevelle. The gold paint. The deep dish wheels. From the Down and Dirty series, a Dodge pickup truck. There's one from Rebel Rods. Another one from Special Delivery, an 8 crate. Cool and Custom series shoebox. Here are two from the Boulevard Bruiser series, a couple Cadillac Escalades with the flames, one in dark blue and one in green. Here from the Rock and Rod series, a really nice looking 57 Chevy in red with the wheels. And on the end here is one of the non-Hot Wheels Johnny Lightning cars. It's a Hummer H2 car, as you can see there, with the Flare Ultra trading card of a Mickey Okafor, who I believe was the number one pick in the 2006 draft. And it's a Hummer, so you can see why I picked it up for the collection. And that moves us now to deep into the bowels of the basement, into the into the actual corner itself of the corner. Uh, and there's some die cast here to show you, but not very much. And some other die cast, as well as a couple Hot Wheels at the bottom. Starting up at the top with the other die cast. Here's another Maisto rod, uh, another white Chevy Camaro from Maisto. And then continue on with the Maisto cars, the Players Collection uh, luxury cars here. A really nice Mercedes Benz S Class. And then some Hummers from Players Club. There's one in black, silver, and gold from Maisto. Never owned a Hummer, uh, but I, as you can see from this video, I own several, several die-cast smaller versions of the Hummer. And then there are actually a couple Hot Wheels uh, Drop Stars cars down here. They're larger scale cars, 1 in 43 or 1 in 50 scale. I'm not sure which. And here is one. Again, another Mercedes-Benz SL55 in, in midnight blue, spectral frame plate. And here's a really sharp one, Ford Mustang GTR. Once again, some of that paint job and just the construction of that car, the wheels, everything on it was what drew me to it and why I picked it up way back in the day for my collection. Move out of the corner and into the 6 o'clock position here in the front part of the basement. And again, we started back here in the 12. And now we're in the 6. In the 6 o'clock position here for the die cast, we're going to see some Johnny Lightning regular cards, which, which you see here. More relics of my childhood, loose Hot Wheels sitting up on this shelf, the McGuire Sosa shelf. Over here are some Johnny Lightning White Lightnings that I'll show you. On the other side, more White Lightnings up here in these Protecto holders. And then behind uh, the Sentinel here from the Matrix is a tier of Hot Wheels. They're all Walmart exclusive cars that you're seeing there. And down below the baseball figures are some more mainline Hot Wheels 
kind of hiding out down here. And we're going to see all these in the 6 o'clock position now. I'll begin here with the Johnny Lightning cards on short card, which makes them Walmart exclusives. Here's a yellow uh, Chevy Nova. These are all regular cars, by the way. A red Hemi Cuda. Nice white Grand National. Then they come with a heavy dose of Camaros. 69 Camaro in yellow there. 67 Camaro in blue. The short card of Johnny Lightnings. There's an all-black one, which is really sharp. 69 Camaro. There's some Baldwin uh, Performance Products Camaro. Uh, 1970. And here on the end is a Shelby GT500. And below the short card of ones, we have more of those Megabuy 2-packs that we had seen previously in the room. Here are two cars in the in the Megabuy red packaging you can see there um, from the Poker Series. It's a Mustang Boss, uh, or a Mustang uh, Mach 1, I should say. Really nice car there. And it comes packaged with this uh, this one from the Mega Buy. Same deal here with these two cars. Here's a Black with Flame Series, a Dodge, and then one from the Zinger Series packaged together. And these two in the Mega Buy are from the Holiday Ornament Series. Um, there's a VW Samba Van with the green uh, uh, chrome paint. And there's a red uh, Corvette Stingray. And then above here on the shelf, we're just going to see more relics from my childhood. These are all loose Hot Wheels that you're seeing here, again, from the early to mid-80s that survived my childhood. So, yes, Mom bought me these cars at probably some JCPenney or Kmart or Zayer or Venture Store circa 19, oh, I don't know, 83, 84, 85. Those would have been the years when I was uh, a boy and collecting the cars like most, like most boys did. And yeah, these are the ones that, that survived, and I just kind of put them up here on the McGuire Sosa shelf. And these are the these are the ones from my childhood. Up top here in these Protectos are Johnny Lightning, White Lightning Chase cars. And I found these cars at various retail stores back in the day in, in my hunts and in my travels. And we'll start here at the end with these two from the Saturday Evening Post series. So this uh, 70 Chevy van there and a Ford station wagon. And they are white lightnings because they have the gold wheels and I believe tinted windows, which makes them white lightnings, chase cars. And then with these three cars here, they're all white lightnings with white bottoms and white interiors. Here are two from the Chevy Thunder series. And they have that collectible key inside we had seen it previously in the Camaro. Here's a nice uh, 70 Chevy Nova. And it's got the white bottom and white interior. Same thing here on the Chevy Impala. Show it to you best I can. It's got the white bottom and white interior. And the Muscle Cars USA series is a Ford GT40 that has, like the others, white bottom and hard to see in there, but the white interior. And now for the white lightnings that are on this side and the Protecto packs here. Starting on the left with these two from the Coca-Cola International Collection. They are white lightning chase cars. And just like the previous ones, these have the white bottoms, white interiors. Like on this VW Bug, it has white bottom and white interior. Same thing on the 64 Ford Falcon Delivery. It's got the white bottom and the white interior. These two are from the Calendar Girl series of Coca-Cola, and they have white wheels, as you can see there. And also on the tire, as you can see, it even says White Lightning, letting you know it's the White Lightning chase car, as well as having the white bottom. And this 57 Chevy Impala in pink, same thing. It's got the white wheels, says White Lightning on the tires, and it's got the white bottom. Here's one from the Vintage Series of Coca-Cola. It's a Nash, Metro, uh, a Nash Metropolitan that has white bottom, and it's got white interior, making a white lightning. And this one here on the end is from the Class of 57. It's 57 Chevy Nomad. It has clear windows and white interior, making it the white lightning chase car. From my experience of collecting Johnny Lightnings, um, two different things had to occur for the car to be a white lightning. Either maybe white bottom, white interior, white wheels, white body, uh, it could say white lightning like these did on the tires themselves, or it could have gold rims, gold body. 
but two different things had to be different for it to qualify as a white lightning chase car, which again, I think were less than 5% of the overall production of that car was the white lightning chase car in any given wave or series. And now we'll switch from Johnny Lightning to Hot Wheels, starting with this little column here of Hot Wheels seasonal cars that are Walmart exclusives. We had seen Walmart seasonal cars uh, previously in the collection. These are cars exclusive available at Walmart, and they come through at different times of the year. And so we'll start here at the bottom with these four cars down here. These are from the birthday cars. Again, Walmart exclusives. There's a Nissan Titan, a Pontiac GTO, a Camaro Convertible, and a Chevy Nova from the birthday series, the happy birthday series. And two, a uh, few cars above that are from the Three Kings series. Here's a Chevy Impala. And above that, we see a little blue VW Beetle and a Hummer from the Three Kings Day. Cars in the green here are Easter exclusives. And again, as far as years go, it's probably some, sometime around the year 2006 or 2007. And again, these come out around uh, Easter time at Walmart. There's a yellow Corvette, a blue Mustang, a convertible GTO there with flames, nice, and an ice cream truck. Here's one from the uh, Halloween series of cars from Walmart, the 59 Cadillac Funny Car. And this one here in the Protecto, the Groundhog Day. Yeah, certain waves of these seasonal cars will have what they call a treasure hunt or special car. And I don't remember specifically which wave featured this car, this little uh, green bad bagger motorcycle, but it was considered the treasure hunt of that particular wave. For Groundhog Day, there you see the Groundhog riding the bike there. And that's why it's in the Protecto holder, because it was considered like the treasure hunter chase car from that particular wave of Walmart seasonal cars. Moving down to the floor now with two rows of Hot Wheels main lines here from 2009-2010. If you're wondering, why are these Hot Wheels hidden away on this board below these sports figures? Well, when you collect as much stuff as I do, you got to find new and creative ways to display it all. And this is one of them. And so again, more main lines here from 2009-2010. See the difference in some of these, that, that green Willys car on the bottom there versus the blue car up top, which I think is a Mustang. And it's got those faster than ever wheels on it. You know, the copper finish and the five spoke there. You see how those wheels are different than, than, than the green car below that. Same thing on these two cars, the yellow passing gasser below versus the, the Mustang above it with the faster than ever wheels. It even says faster than ever. I believe those faster than ever cars were exclusive to Walmart. And they had the exclusive Fast and Ever um, wheels on them, as you could see, with a copper finish. And a couple more over here. Fast and Ever series. One last column of Hot Wheels to see here as we wrap up the other corner of the basement and then start to move along the wall. Here's a column of Hot Wheels garage cars. And these were from one of the first waves of garage cars that, that hit back in, I don't know, 2008 or so. And they started off as Larry's garage cars uh, after legendary Hot Wheels designer Larry Wood. And then Hot Wheels kind of expanded that to Wayne's garage there after designer Wayne Scott. And also downhill, down here, Phil's garage after other legendary designer Phil Reilman. And so that's what you're seeing here. The garage cars, they're premium cars. Again, nicer paint jobs, wheels, and chassis. And so here's a green... Chevy Nova you're seeing there, and below that, a Chevelle in blue, kind of sharp. Dodge Charger, a couple of Pro Willys from the Garage Series, and then down here, a couple of Barracudas, one in black, one in yellow, and I think another GTO down there. And there's this one at the top. And this one's kind of special, and the reason why it's in a Protecto holder is because that car you're seeing there is not a 70s Chevelle SS wagon. Clearly it's not. It's actually an overboard 454 that is not part of the Garage Series at all. That's just a mainline car. But it got packed into the wrong package, as you can see here. I suppose because it, it, it slipped through Hot Wheels Quality Control, it, where they produce these things. I think it's in Malaysia. So this one got through Quality Control, and Hot Wheels packed a completely wrong car from the wrong series in the wrong package. And I saw it one day, my uh, trained eye, sitting there on the peg in, in a retail store. And now it sits here in my collection. Because once again, error cars like this, and I think we've seen maybe a few of these previously, are considered rare and collectible. And anytime I'd see them out there, I'd pick them up for my collection. And yeah, so this is just an error card that got packed by the people at Hot Wheels in the, in the wrong packaging, slipped through quality control. And like the old saying goes, one man's trash, another man's treasure. So here it is, my treasure, I suppose. 
and our travels along the basement continue and takes us this part of the wall we see a couple of the gift pack five packs of hot wheels there with the five exclusive cars down here on the bottom is a mopar mania five pack i think it's from 2009 with five exclusive mopar cars in there a convertible uh cuda uh a gtx a uh, Dodge Demon, a Belvedere, and a Charger in the bottom. And up top here is a General Motors 5-pack gift pack with 5 exclusive cars, Cadillac, a Vet, a GTO, a really sharp 67 Camaro, which was the main motivating, motivating factor why I bought this, and the Hummer at the bottom. Now for a heavy dose of more of those garage cars that we had seen, as in the Larry's, Phil's, and Wayne's garage cars. And you can see here, these cars I'm going to show you kind of form a border around this display of basketball and other figures. And so we'll take a look at them now. So we'll start here on the left with the Purple Passion Woody from the Garage Series. And again, these are all Phil, Wayne, and Larry's Garage cars. VW Bug right there. Three different colors of Bone Shaker in the orange, purple, and blue. Yeah, I, I really like the Bone Shaker, especially this one with the rubber tires and the nicer paint. And, and wheels. Um, I, I do. I collect bone shakers. Incidentally, JB from New Hampshire is a real big bone shaker fan. He has like pretty much every one of them. But yeah, I've always liked the bone shaker. There's a GTO wagon. Uh, passing gasser in white. Down here in neat streeter in blue. A couple of different Very 8s here. And then down in the corner, we're going to see a couple of different kinds of Bel Air. One in copper, one in black. And then a Lincoln Continental. And then coming along the bottom part here. Shoebox, two different versions in black and white with the different flames, or with the flames there. There's a fished and chipped. Here's a 70 Chevelle SS wagon, really nice, really sharp with the red line uh, wheels and the, and the paint job. Here's one called Rolling Thunder, two different varieties in gold and purple. And some nice Plymouth Roadrunners here, two different kinds in white and gray. This car is called the Tail Dragger. And there's, there's gray, there's white, and then there's copper. And then coming up on this side, there's a 56 Ford truck, blue convertible. And here's the 8 crate in three different varieties there because garage cars were made in different colors. Same, I mean, same model, the 8 crate there, you're seeing that delivery, but it's just different colors. And there's a Chevy Nova in blue. While we're down here at floor level, I'm going to show you these cars in this row. These are from a series of Hot Wheels called uh, Slick Rides. And you're going to see a lot more trucks, vans, and buses in here with the different logos and tampos of different companies. And just like the garage cars, they are the more premium cars with the better chassis, paint jobs, and wheels and tires. So we'll start on the left. Here's a super van in purple with the Winds uh, decal. GMC Motorhome. Bell is a major like, automotive company. Everybody knows Goodyear and the 55 Chevy panel. Two different versions of it here. Just a nice car, really. The 55 Chevy pan, uh, uh, panel delivery. Here's a power panel truck with the hooker tampo. A couple different Cadillac funny cars here. And here's a 50 Chevy truck with the Ed Pink. Uh, 32, Ford, uh, 32 Ford delivery car. Here's a couple of the Combat Medic versions. And a dairy delivery here on the end. So at this point, I thought I'd just pull the camera off the wall to give my viewing audience some perspective of what they've been seeing and what we're going to see. Just to briefly recap here, what we saw here was the garage cars down here, as well as the slick rides. And what I'm going to show you now is the next section of diecast, and it's here on the wall. And it consists of Hot Wheels. And to break the Hot Wheels down, it's garage cars, some more of those, uh, slick rides, delivery cars. And then there's going to be some convention exclusive cars that we're going to see, as well as some Redline Club exclusive cars. And there's also some green light machines in here, a few regulars, but we're going to see a lot of the green machine chase cars. And to cap it off, there's some uh, Johnny Lightning Gold Series cars as well. I'll begin here on the left with these four cars from the Gold Series of Johnny Lightning. We had seen these cars previously in the Gold Series. Very sharp cars that they are with a detail. And there's four of them. There's a Chevy Nova, a 70 Chevy Nova in white. A 68 Chevelle in turquoise. There's a really nice 69 Camaro in silver. Of course, there's got to be always a Camaro in this series, right? And there's a Mustang Boss, a 70 um, in like a reddish orange. Just four sharp, nice cars right there. 
That takes us to the Hot Wheels, the garage cars. There's more of those Larry's, Wayne's, Phil's garage cars. Starting here at the top with a really nice 69 Camaro in flat black. And then the reason why I have it in this individual protector holder, it's a chase car. Failed to mention this before, guys, but there were chase cars from this wave. Let me show you, and it's going to be kind of hard to see it. But I'm going to show it to you as best I can. Observe the bottom of the chassis. You see it there, LJW in white letters, scribbled on the bottom there. That's Larry J. Wood's initials, scribbled on the bottom in white. So any cars from this wave that had the LJW scribbled there in white on the bottom chassis were chase cars or were considered chase cars. And that's one, I could thank Jason for that one because Jason tipped me off one day that a local food store had an end, uh, end kicker um, of these cars. And so I went over there one night and bam, I found a bunch of them. And there's a bunch more I found. 69 Ford Mustang from that wave. Just another beautiful car. Chevy Bel Air, GTO, Corvette. A couple Purple Passion, one in green, one in pink. Three different uh, versions of Dairy Delivery we're going to see here. Big fan of the Dairy Delivery as well. When I see them, I pick them up. Three different Cougars, uh, pink, blue, and green. Here's a car called So Fine. These two are shift kickers, two different varieties. And again, just nice cars, again, with the rubber tires and the deep dish wheels. Another blue Corvette there, a 69 Vet, or I'm sorry, blue Corvette, I should say blue Camaro, a blue 69 Camaro there, another Camaro from this set. And down here begins the Slick Rides delivery cars again, the cool one with the moon eyes is what that one's called. And there's a VW Transport in blue, the ice cream truck, a super van here, Kanako, and the Deco delivery. And now to show you the convention cars, as well as the online exclusive Redline Club cars here on the end. Before I do so, just want to let my viewing audience know, a lot of information I'm about to offer up here. So now would be a good time for you guys to get out your notebooks and start taking some notes or maybe just do it off your cell phones. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Uh, but seriously, i um, going to give you a lot of information here. Three things I want to just touch on. Number one, these convention cars I'm about to show you, I didn't obtain any of these in person at any of the conventions. I traded for most of them or obtained them in secondhand sales, which kind of leads me to my point number two, is these six cars in particular, when I'm done showing you guys all this stuff, I want to circle back and come to these six cars because there's a little special story about how I obtained them. And the third thing I want to touch on is a brief history of conventions themselves and how they work in the Hot Wheels world, like for those who don't know. So with that said, let me just explain. There are three major Hot Wheels conventions every calendar year. And each of the three carries its own separate set of exclusive cars. Two of those conventions are held every year in the state of California. One in September, one in October. And Garden Grove, a town in California, is one of the more popular uh, destinations in California for one of these two shows. The third major Hot Wheels show is held every year in April. And it's a national show. And, it's a, and it roves the country. Different city every year. Just off the top of my head, some cities that I've hosted in the past. Indianapolis. Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Lexington, Kentucky. And so that's how the conventions uh, work uh, every calendar year. And so with that said, let me just hop into showing you these cars. So this Beauty 69 Camaro, absolute gem, and this Dairy Delivery are from the 24th Annual Collector's Convention. So that'd be one of those, uh, one of those uh, California shows. This uh, Beauty, the 67 Camaro in white, here's a highway hauler, very nice car. And the 56 Chevy over here, these are all from the 10th Annual Collector's Convention. So again, it's one of those two California shows. I don't remember which one, the September, October one. Another nice 67 Camaro up here, as well as down here, they got the heavy Chevy, the Custom Auto, the Volkswagen Beetle, and the Pearl Passion. They're all from the 22nd Annual Collector's Convention. And this Mustang Mach 1 on the end here is from the 19th Annual Convention. Coming down here with the checkerboards, these are all from the National Convention that took place in Chicago in 2005. And there's a 67 Camaro from that convention, a Scorch and Scooter, Woozy, the Olds 442, Heavy Chevy, Shelby GT, and another Scorch and Scooter. And those, again, were all from the 2005 Chicago National Convention that was held in Chicago. These eight cars here are all Redline Club exclusive cars that can only be obtained through the Redline Club, which is an online uh, collector's club, as I mentioned earlier, way back when we were in showroom A. And no, actually, I didn't, I didn't order any of these myself, nor did Mo from Arizona, uh, my ordering guy. I actually traded for all eight of these many, many years ago. So here they are, a VW Drag Bus, 
in red there with the number six, and then kind of in turquoise, just sharp cars. And again, you know, you probably sold out in 30 seconds back in the day. There's a purple Dodge Charger. There's an El Camino. There's an old 442. 55 Chevy panel truck. Purple Passion. And the Super Van. That takes us over here to the green light machines. Okay, so we start off with a couple regulars here. Just a, a, nothing special. Mustang Mach 1, Shelby GT500. Two different versions there in red and blue. Another one up here in white, Mustang GT. Just nice, solid cars. Now all the rest of these cars are going to be chase cars. They're all green machines. Limited chase cars with the green wheels. And they have green bombs. It's kind of hard to see the green bomb. There's a Pontiac GTO convertible. Ford Mustang Coupe. Green machine, chase car. Firebird Formula. Nice one there. 89. Dodge Challenger, SRT8. And these are from the Black Bandit series, which are even more attractive. They're all blacked out with the nice green accents there. 80 Chevy Corvette Coupe, Green Machine Chase Car, 60 Coupe Corvette. There's a Dodge uh, D100. Just has the green bottom. I don't know why they didn't green the, the, the wheels. They should have, but I guess, they got, I guess they got cheap and didn't. And this Mustang up top here is a Collectibles Corner. Midnight Edition Exclusive Mustang Boss. Collectibles Corner was an online uh, uh, collectible website. They kind of ran their own store back in the day. I'm not sure if they're still around. But back in the day they were, and their website was offering this exclusive car. And I picked it up in trade uh, way back in the day. 